Yo, 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 what it do, what it be, y'all, it's your boy A-N-T coming to y'all with a little MK11 commentary, let's get right into it, gonna be talking about my first memories of gaming, <laughs> so I've pretty much been a gamer my whole life, literally for probably for as long as I can remember, I've been playing video games, like the first consoles I can remember playing were the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis, shout out Biggie for that lyric, <laughs> but uh, I don't know when we got the PS1, but somehow, some way we did, Some sometime when I was growing up, and I remember playing a good bit, uh, all three growing up actually, and uh, of course, not only like as a kid, I was like, I was raised a Jehovah Witness too, so like, any games that like involve demons, magic, shooting, blood, <laughs> and that all that was off limits. I was not playing none of that. So I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2, uh, Rocket Knight Adventures, and Eternal Champions, which was like a fighting game with like low key brutal finishers and like some weird storylines. But I don't think my mama knew that at the time. She wasn't really paying attention, but it was it's cool. <laughs> that I had those like I remember playing those on the Sega Genesis and it was lit. It was cool. <laughs> Kept me entertained. Really though, the all the Super Nintendo had all the bangers. Like I remember me, my sisters and my cousins poured hours into like Super Mario World, getting to all like the secret levels, like the Uber levels, all that. That's crazy ass gaming. Of course, like as a kid, like I couldn't even get past World Two. I'm sitting here seeing my cousins get you know, they unlock the, the secret door and the little ghost uh, level and all that. So, it was crazy. <laughs> really, like, 90s games was hard as fuck. And uh, if you grew up in, like, the mid-90s, early 2000s, and you'll know, like, wrestling games back in the day, like, for the PlayStation 1 even was the shit. Stone Cold, The Rock, DX, Big Show, Vince McMahon. I can't forget about, like, the commentary with good old JR and Jerry Lawler. And, you know, I, I was playing, like, the OG Super Nintendo, like, WWE Raw, WWE Royal, Royal Rumble. Of course, it was, like, WWF at the time. So, you know, it, it was WWF Raw, WWF Royal Rumble for Super Nintendo. It was, those were my games. And then for, like, PlayStation 1, I can't even count how many times I owned... Smackdown 1 and 2 because I didn't know how to take care of my games back then so you know we would be at Hollywood video and game crazy like every other weekend so like I remember my parents bought a, a disc resurfacer for all the scratch CDs and games we had and this and that so I recall like my my older sister and cousin playing Crash Bandicoot Warped for hours like all day type shit and the tragic part was we never had a memory card like until the ps2 came out i don't think we ever had a memory card for for the ps1 and i remember leaving the playstation one on for days for days trying to n not lose my progress you know i had gotten you know the season mode on smackdown unlocked you know all the characters uh sean michaels and all that and, uh, yeah, it, it was tough. <laughs> it was tragic as hell having to leave your PS1 on or, uh, you accidentally, you know, trip over a cord or something and tss, there goes your whole progress for the day. Gone. Restart. Reset everything. <laughs> no save, no nothing. But, you know. For the, when we got the PS2 or whatever, we got one, so it was all good. And, you know, it's crazy because we could only say, it was like, what, it wasn't even gigabytes back then. It was, like, kilobytes or some shit like that. You wasn't even serving, like, you wasn't even saving, like, uh, a whole gig of data on your place. That it was, phew, man, it's crazy as hell. So, like, I was blessed, though, to always be players one, though, because, like, everyone would always come to my house and, like, even back in elementary school, like, all the friends would come to my house, you know, play two-player games or whatever. Like, I remember back when Guitar Hero was popping when I was in, like, seventh grade. Me and my sister had the two guitars set up. So, 
me and my homie uh, Lenny was trying to become, you know, gods of rock, break a million points. Shout out Stan and Kyle. But <laughs> instead of creating his own account, you know, my homie used my little sisters. And somehow she either like walked in while we was playing or she found out. She was so pissed. Like she deleted her whole account because we fucked up her stats, this and that. Like <laughs> my sister is a trip for real, y'all. T- to this day, she a trip. But. And it's even, like, more crazy because back in the day, almost every single game had the option to run the game co-op. Like, Guitar Hero, uh, Ultimate Alliance, Shaolin Monks, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, even Grand Theft Auto San Andreas had that little two-player, like, it wasn't split screen, but you know what I'm talking about. It had, you could be two players. That's, you could just run around the city just fucking shit up. So, like, now it's all about online multiplayer which is cool, but a part of me wishes we still had the great co-op games, like the ones I just mentioned for PS2, and even on PS3, it had Army of Two, Kane and Lynch, uh, the Call of Duty games had like the co-op missions, and you could go online with split screen and this and that, which was cool, but that's like all we got now, we can't, I, off the top of my head, I can't really name a single game off the top of my head for PS4, that has a decent co-op story that I could just sit down and play with one of my friends or something. Like, Leave comments. Leave suggestions if I'm tripping. If y'all have played some for the PS4. Uh, with, you know, that's co-op or whatever. You could play two-player. But I I haven't seen one. So, <laughs> we've come we come a long way in gaming, though. For real, for real. Like, I was playing... I remember me playing McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure for Sega and Spyro's Ripto's Rage for PlayStation and then like a few years back I saw the the Street Fighter Grand Finals on TBS like not just some like rinky dink like closed network local network or you know some rinky dink like laggy stream but this was shit was on the Turner broadcast system broadcasting a fighting video game tournament hosted by like not like Ryan Seacrest or like some shill who didn't know the difference between Halo and God of War and none of that. They had Malik for Play Forte. And, like, most of y'all may not know him. He does, like, Overwatch uh, shit now. He's, he, I think he does that. I follow him on Twitter. He dope as hell. He cool as fuck. But, uh, like, I, I remember watching him on, on, like, on YouTube when I was in, like, like high school. Maybe even middle school. I remember watching <laughs> his videos. For real, for real. And, like, he deleted some of his best videos now because he's more, like, in a professional light, this and that, which I can understand that. You know, get your get your bread, homie. And, but it was just, like, it was so, uh, what's the word? Uh, motivational. That's what it is. Motivational to see a YouTuber I grew up watching who was like, he, he he didn't have a hell of views, he didn't have like million subscribers, I don't think, I think he had a couple hundred thousand maybe, but he was just a gamer expressing his opinions with an average amount of subs, and even when he quit YouTube or disappeared from YouTube, apparently, obviously he kept grinding, and like I didn't really follow him or whatever, I discovered he just had a Twitter after I seen him on that little thing or whatever, but uh like that's when i realized there might be some money in this there might be a future uh in video games like i could make money off of this like if this dude um could just keep at it I, that's all it is is consistency you don't need youtube you just need you know to keep consistent with what you believe you think you can make money or whatever like get your dream to do this go pursue that shit fool. what the fuck is stopping you like fuck it <laughs> why not so uh so yeah after seeing that sorry i got a little off topic but <laughs> like that's pretty much like all my earliest memories of gaming um like i never really i never owned uh the original xbox i never had a 64 or a GameCube growing up, so I never played not one minute of a Zelda game. I played Gears of War, I think, three for 360, and Halo 3 when I had a 360, and then I got the Red Ring of Death and 
never wanted to go through that heartbreak again. So I was like, you know, I might cop PS3. I still got the PS3. I bought like back in like what was it? I want to say oh, uh, 2011, and then I bought another one for like I think my little sister got one in 2012, 2013, and both of them were perfect to the to this day. But <laughs> uh, yeah, never never played Super Mario 64. Never played Donkey Kong. I I, I played actually. I'm I'm not. I'm capping. I played like maybe five ten minutes of Donkey Kong Country at like a friend's house. I re, I can remember, but like that was decades ago. And now like I have a a 64. I need to cop those. Like I I have Mario Party and other shit. But I need low key like I need a boo boo TV because like the graphics be looking weird on these hot TVs, folks. So I can't even do all that. So. Uh, I'm gonna try and get my game game up <laughs> after I finish setting up this company, paying off these pre-orders. Uh, I got y'all October 31st. Like, like I've been selling y'all since last year. Don't even trip. I'm gonna have a face reveal, squad face reveal, setup video dropping. So stay tuned. We got big things popping, little things stopping, hot content dropping. So <laughs> sub, ring the damn bell. Leave a like. Don't be Julius Caesar. Don't don't thumbs me down. We all know how he ended up. So <laughs> leave a comment. Leave a like. Uh, or uh, maybe leave a like I said. Leave a comment on some of your favorite games. <laughs> Can't even talk and shit. Uh, some of your favorite games growing up, or even your first memories of gaming, or something like that. It's been your boy A and T, the Elevator Gamer, aka the Above Average Gamer. And uh, be safe out there, y'all. Don't get smoked like this fool Kano's about to. You know, look at that. Oh my, oh my God, look at you. Yup. I you could get. What nigga trying to get hit up? I'll take his one hit. <laughs> Stupid. Alright, y'all. I'm out. Peace. Enjoy the fatality.